Hallelujah, my dear sisters and brothers. Good and blessed morning to you all in the name of Christ, our good shepherd and Lord. I wish you all of you a very safe and healthy journey in this still critical time of COVID-19 pandemic. As of today, we hear that 27.5% of the whole population in our country has got fully vaccinated and 41.3% of the whole population, 41.3% of the whole population got uh, at least uh, vaccinated one dose, which is a, uh, I believe, a promising news. And give thanks to God and thanks to our national leadership for such a uh, smooth progress of vaccination. Uh, thanks uh, to them for their wonderful leadership on this issue. This morning, uh, we're going to focus upon the theme of I am the good shepherd. I am the good shepherd based upon the Johanna in Gospel, chapter 10, verses 11 through 18. Perhaps some of you, uh, you know, might remember O. Henry's short story titled The Gift of Magi, in which we encounter a very love, uh, uh, lovely story, love, a beautiful love story over the uh, Christmas gift uh, between uh, Della and Jim, a very poor but very lovely couple. This lovely couple has uh, two uh, prized possessions, that is Della's beautiful, elegant, long hair and Jim's gold watch handed down from his father. Della wanted to prepare a perfect Christmas gift for uh, Jim, but she has a dollar uh, and 87 cents only after having diligently saved the money for several months. While she's pondering on this gift, an insight pops up to her and she suddenly stands in front of the mirror, in front of the mirror and pulls her hair down and lets the long tresses settle around her. As taking a look at her reflection on the mirror, she makes up her mind to sell it to Madame Sofrani. The Madame Sofrani pays her $20 for such a precious, long, beautiful hair. She, with that money, purchases a, a tasteful platinum watch chain for Jim's prized heirloom gold watch. Jim also wants to give Della, his beloved wife, a special, special gift. So Jim says that gold watch his only precious possession to make money for a perfect gift for Della. And he buys a pair of beautiful tortoise shell, tortoise shell comb for Della, for her beautiful, elegant, long hair. Wow, what a selfless love. But what a heartbreaking twist this is. Our Join and Gospel uh, this morning also shows us such selfless love of our good shepherd, Jesus the Christ. Let's see our passage again. I am the good shepherd. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. And the Hire the hand who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches the dam and scatters them. The higher the hand runs away. Higher the hand runs away. Because a higher the hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. 
just as the Father knows me and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. This good shepherd keeps proclaim, uh, proclaiming, I have other sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold, this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd, one flock, one shepherd. For this reason, my father loves me. Needless to say here, by this fold, this fold, Christ means the Jews. And by other ship, other ship means the Gentiles. So this fold and other ships together, all human beings on the face of the earth. This passage likely clarifies the very nature of our good shepherd's unconditional and universal love, not only for the Jews, but also for all the Gentiles on earth. This is the very unshakable ground on which we, the so-called lost humanity, is firmly standing in this Christ, Jesus, our good shepherd. This good shepherd's selfless, unconditional agape love for us, the needy and lost humanity, needless to say, needless to say, originates from God's advancing, justifying, sanctifying, and perfecting grace alone. After all, this is who you are and who I am, who I am. In other words, our highest identity, dignity and value found and proclaimed in this good shepherd is absolutely from God's never failing, never ending grace and love toward us, all our fellow humans on earth. Accordingly, as far as we are making our life journey here and now in the lead of this good shepherd, God's spirit, the Holy Spirit will never leave us and abandon us like an island or like orphans because, because we are his people made in his image and likeness and the sheep of his pasture. Just like a psalmist long years ago had already confessed and sung. Here again, let's carefully listen to what this good shepherd proclaims to us. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me, just as the father knows me and I know the father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. Here, what does he mean by this word, no? I know my own, my own know me. The father knows me and I know the father. No, this good shepherd knows you and me, you and me personally and holistically. This good shepherd knows you and me and all fellow human beings on earth from the top of their heads to the bottom of their feet. This good shepherd knows us not superficially, nor partially, nor cognitively alone, but personally, directly, and holistically. He knows us all, not only with his brain alone, but also his heart, his heart, hands, and feet. He knows us physically, emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually, actually holistically. Here is a vivid example. Genesis chapter four, verse one likely says, now the man knew his wife Eve, 
and she conceived and bore Cain, saying, I have produced a man with the help of the Lord. Here, the man knew his wife. The man knew his wife means this husband knows his wife personally and directly by seeing, hearing, and touching and sensing her. This knowledge is his direct hands-on experience, not simply cognitively or indirectly, but personally and holistically. Our good shepherd knows us like this husband knows his wife Eve, and this woman Eve knows her husband. Needless to say, this mutual, personal, direct, and holistic knowledge of each other produces a new life, a baby, like Eve gives birth to Cain by and in this direct experience of her husband. Here's another example about such in-depth level of knowledge. King David almost 3000 years ago had already expressed such knowledge in his own term as follows. Let me quote. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in shore, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and settle at the farthest limit of the sea, even there, even there, your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness shall co cover me and the light around me become night. Even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day. For darkness as light to you, unquote. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, our good shepherd, this is who you are and who I am. This is our authentic, highest human identity, dignity, and value, which is found, clarified, and proclaimed in this good shepherd, our Christ Jesus, our Lord and the Savior. This is why. We are the happiest living beings in the whole cosmos in this good shepherd, Christ Jesus, our Lord and the Savior. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. May the Lord, our God, creator, the never ending blessings be upon all of you. Now and always. Amen. God bless you and stay safe and healthy in the love of God. Bye.